morning guys and <coughs> I was just wondering to make some recipes for the people to make at home because I think you know it's a tough times at the moment because of all this issue about the coronavirus and and I think all of you deserve you know to have some entertainment and, and this is just to put a little bit of vibe in, in, in these times the first recipe I'm gonna make is um, is a panke soup is a Paraguayan recipe which exists across the whole South America and it's a basically it's a bread cheese but is it easy to make um, and I think you all of you will enjoy so let's see We have at this moment the game of machine ready yeah if you have this game of machine it would be amazing to do this dough but if not what well, you need to understand that you have to mix everything and then you need it for 10 minutes as all the usual breads here yeah? <coughs> so now we have put here 500 grams of flour plain flour some people use a strong flour to make breads but uh, well I have I have the plain flour so I don't have a strong one at the moment and um, the other one thing is because it's, it's a lower containing gluten it will take longer time to rise up but well this is what we have and <laughs> it's what we're gonna use um, then we're gonna add 25 grams of fresh yeast but in this time I'm gonna use 120 grams of mother dough because I always have mother dough here in my, in my house so we're gonna put it inside Then we're gonna add the butter, which is 120 grams. The oil, that this is olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, is 50 grams. And then this is combined sugar and salt. It's 12 grams of salt and 12 grams of sugar. And then we will start kneading the dough. So this will take like about, let's say one minute. We need to incorporate a little bit all the components that we have put inside. Then we will add the liquids which are the milk, whole milk and water. It's 100 grams of milk and 100 grams of water. It's all combined here. What I would suggest is when, when you do these things, it's recommended, for me it's recommended to have it like a warm water or warm milk because of when you put it inside, that will activate the mother dough or the yeast that you have put inside the dough. So now we're going to add this. Again, sometimes it's like the flour sometimes absorbs more water than others, so the you can be ready to find the texture of the dough that you want. Let's have a little bit. If it is adding into the side of the bowl, just use a spatula and put it back into the middle so that will help the machine to carry on. Well, the dough. It's taking picture now. Add a 
And then just continue eating for ten minutes. As the tongue is just not sticking to the sides of the bowl, then I can put slow down the machine a little bit and just carry on. This is a recipe called Banque Soup and it's a, basically it's a cheese bread. It's a typical recipe from Paraguay and as most of you, you know, my partner is from Paraguay so I'm always open to try new recipes because it's very interesting to see the gastronomy of other countries. And probably that exists everywhere around the world but I think it's very interesting to try different recipes. And when I think we have achieved the texture I want. You can see it's easily going out from the hook. And as you can see, it doesn't stick into the fingers. So at this moment, what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna put a little bit of flour. It's a little bit of flour, just a little bit. And if you have a cloth, then you put a cloth. If you have cling film, I normally use cling film. So I will put the cling film on the top. And we're gonna let it rise up for about 30 minutes. Yeah, if it is on a place where it's a little bit warm temperature, it would be easier to rise up. I will leave it 30 minutes at the moment because it's a sunny day. I will leave it on the sun and I will see how, how it goes. Well, because the temperature is not the right one at, at this moment, it hasn't grown up in the way I want, but I left it one hour instead of half an hour. Okay, so now I dust it with a little bit of flour, the table, the walking table, and then I want to work a little bit the dough so I can remove some of the air, but you can see how beautiful it is. So nice dough. I'm gonna work it all the way. Now that we have a little, I will divide it. This is just up to you, whatever the portions you need to, you, need, you, you want to have, or how big you want it spread to be. I'm going to make them to be small, which is nicer, so like individual portions. But you can make like the whole loaf if you want. Then each one we're gonna take each one and we're gonna 
problem. And then you have this result. Roll it. Then you're gonna put on a parchment paper on a tray to cook it later. Now, as you can see, I have all of them ready, and I put on a tray and I cover with the cream film. The tray is already with the parchment paper, with the baking paper and I put a paint film to allow them to grow up a little bit for 20 minutes, let's say. So I will leave it nicely here. I'm having some sun, and we will see how it comes. As you can see now, they have grown up after 20 minutes. Yeah, so I've seen some of the, of the cases, the people used to make like so marks scoring the bread and I will try step into the bread and I have here just one egg with salt and a little bit of milk and I'm gonna paint them again it's not too much to put on the top it's just a little bit of brush They're gonna go in the oven, but I have preheated on 180 degrees, 180 degrees. So I'm gonna put it in the oven, and because it's preheated, once it goes inside, after one minute, I will drop it to 150, and I will cook it for 15 minutes. Let's see how it comes. Well, so this is the the result after cooking in the oven. I left a little bit in color because I like it like that but you can cook a little bit stronger you can put the, the temperature higher and then in the oven at the end of the cooking and make it more brown I have to change the recipe and I have to put 10 more minutes so initially I said 50 minutes but it's actually actually 25 minutes and that's it and this is the the cheese bread enjoy 